We're trying a new camera angle today. All right, what's up guys? It's Obey Moors, and I'm back with another Black Ops Cold War video. And you can see I'm just playing zombies right now. Doing that thing to get Dark Ether again. Grinding along. I'm just recording it now because I want something to do while I'm playing zombies. I got this story. I got a fucking story for you. It's a story about my old job. I've been thinking about telling it for a while, but I wasn't sure. I was a little iffy because I don't know. I mean, I still don't really know if I can get in trouble for talking about it. I'm pretty sure as long as I don't like say names or like whatever, I should be fine. I should be good. Anyway, I left this job like a year and a half ago. Holy fuck, it's been that long. But this shit still eats at me. It's still fucking, it still gets to me. It, I'll admit, this guy lives rent free in my head. Like, it is what it is. That's part of why I want to talk about it. Because it still fucking pisses me off to this day. This is going to be an angry story, man. It's going to be angry. I got, I got to get this shit off my chest. The, the guy I'm talking about is the guy who fucking trained me. Uh, trained me at, at my job. Started there when I was in college. So it counted towards credits, which was fucking awesome. I... 20 hours a week and credit uh, it was great once i got out of school i moved to full time you know with any job there's someone that trains you to do the job you're gonna be doing that was this guy and uh we also took classes and shit like that some of them i hadn't taken because they hadn't scheduled them yet this guy's training me and the first red flag with this guy obviously when you're working together for like 10 hours a day you start talking to each other a little bit and i wanted to know what he liked like music movies whatever the fuck he was into so i had something to talk about with him while we were working 10 hours a fucking day and he's like oh yeah yeah let me let me give you a list he gave me a list and i didn't recognize any of it on there and i went and listened to some of the music and it was like i mean if you like it, you do you. I don't, I wasn't a big fan of it. It was kind of weird, but I didn't think anything of it. People have different tastes in music, whatever. And then the movie, I just looked up the trailer and I, dude, I looked it up. I've tried looking back for it and I cannot remember what it was called, but it was some like B movie and it was just nudity, torture, and just weird shit. And uh, I can't, it was a movie designed to make you uncomfortable for hours. That's all it was. The trailer was like, the trailer clearly showed that and I was like, what the fuck is this? And I looked up reviews of it. It's a, an artistic take on how our society is desensitizing us or some shit. I don't know. It was fucking weird. Just weird. Okay. But I'm like, whatever. I try to understand it. I'm like, oh my God, whatever. I try to understand it. This guy, he just has a sophisticated take. I don't fucking know. And I get to work and I tell him this stuff like, oh, I don't really like it, but I, I understand how you could. I, I looked into it a little bit, whatever. I, I get it. And this guy starts fucking laughing at me and like making fun of me about how I could like this shit. It turns out he didn't like any of it. He gave me the list of the most fucked up and weird shit he could think of. Like, I'm trying to get to know you, you know, because I have to spend 40 fucking hours a week with you. Okay. And, and he just, I don't understand what makes a person do that. It's just so fucking weird to me. That was the first red flag. And then he's train training me. He had me fucking sit there every day. I I, I would ask him, oh, can I do anything? And, nah, you're good. Just, s just sit and watch him. Like, okay. A little bit of time goes on and I still don't have these classes. And he asked me about it. He's like, hey, like, did you didn't ever get these classes, did you? And I'm like, nope, don't know what they're doing. And he's like, that's wrong. They shouldn't do that. They should give you the classes before you're on the floor. And I'm like, well, that sucks, doesn't it? He was like, you know what? I'm going to teach you some of this stuff. And he shows me a torque wrench and it's like, it's a wrench that you use. And then when it gets to the right, like force, it just pops a big fucking pop. Huge. Like you cannot miss it and you can't torque it anymore. The only way you mess up with this one is if you literally set the torque too high and just crank it like that. Like, that's it. Okay. Like I got the hang of it. Got the torque right. We're using whatever. It was either the same day or the next day. We're still working on the same thing. And it gets to this point where it's a different torque wrench. And I'm like, that's weird. Uh, is this any different? He gets the wrench and he brings it to me and he's like, nah, it's the same exact thing as the other one. And I'm like, so I should hear a big pop when I use it, right? He's like, oh yeah, it's, it's the same exact thing. Same, same thing. It wasn't the same fucking thing. It's something called a silent torque wrench. And that'll be important really fucking soon. And before I have a chance to actually use it, he tells me, I'll be right back, okay? Just keep on working, keep do going. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be back soon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I keep working. He's gone. And I get to the point where I'm using the silent torque wrench, which <laughs> it's not a big fucking pop. And then you can't do it anymore. It's a tiny, tiny click that if you don't really feel for and look for, you don't know what happened. And then it catches again and just keeps going. So you can have it set to the right torque, which I did. And it just, you can crank the shit out of it if you want to, which I fucking did. Cause I'm like, man, it's not popping. 
And they're like, what the fuck? You know? And he gets back like 45 minutes later. After, like, I, I'd been sitting there for a while because I didn't know what the hell to do. I'm like, dude, it's not, I don't know what's wrong. And he gets back and he's like, oh no. Oh no, this is really bad. This is so bad. I'm going to have to go tell the supervisor about this one. And I'm like, well, I mean, I can go with you and we can explain what happened. Like, I just didn't know the wrench worked like this. Like, first, he gave me the wrong information, knowingly. And I was, I was gonna let him slide. I was gonna make it like it was my fault. Just so he didn't get in trouble. And he's like, no, no, I should just talk to him myself. That's a red flag. If someone doesn't want you to go with them, they are trying to throw you right under the bus. Just gone. They want you, they're, they don't, they are not looking out for you. He goes and the supervisor and him come back. Supervisor does not look happy at all. This guy just comes out, starts yelling at me about, you should listen to him when he says, put your tools down, don't work, he'll be gone for five minutes. And I'm like, what? what? Like, I was just, I was stunned. I didn't say anything, cause I was so, I was so baffled. I'm, I was confused at what was going on. Like, it wasn't adding up. He was not gone for five minutes and he did not tell me to stop working. I, I my memory could have slipped. He, he could have told me to stop working. But he certainly did fucking not tell me to stop work. Turns out this guy went and told the supervisor, I royally fucked this up, that well, he was gone for five minutes. He told me to not work and he was back in five minutes and I had fucked it all up. And then I had had a habit of just not listening to him, just not wanting to do any work, just sitting around on my ass, not doing anything. Every fucking day, I would come in and ask, hey, can I work on something today? Can I actually do something, actually use my hands? No, nah, just sit there and watch me right there gave me a fucking reputation that i didn't do anything which if you know me i'm very fucking hard working except when it comes to homework i in school i'd kind of do it but but when it comes to work and i actually enjoy doing that work when it actually comes down to doing work i am fucking hard working with re that reputation in mind i was pushed to the back corner of the building and basically given busy work until my contract was set to run out before i even met anyone they already had it in their head that i was a shitty worker shitty person and just and just set to get let go and uh i had one friend that that saw the fucking bullshit that was happening to me and had some pull with the higher ups and actually convinced them to let me work with him and it turns out when i left they didn't want me to leave so uh that's that's a win for me but fuck that guy man i don't hate anyone their hates are a strong word I, I dislike some people the only person that i genuinely fucking hate is that guy and uh, if you happen to see this video you know who you are you're a piece of fucking shit and everyone knows it. Yeah, hopefully I never have to work with him again. Thanks for listening to me rant. It's been on my fucking mind. Hopefully I didn't say anything that can get me fucked over. That brown nosing motherfucker, dude. So far up people's ass, he can fucking smell what they eat before it's digested. What a fucking dick, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, <laughs> recent video should be popping up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.